Hey, what's up, everyone? It's TK here. TK or the is. It's Pride Month, apparently, so my border thing got changed. It actually kind of matches the colors of Zon 100 with the different blood spiders and stuff. But anyways, we are back in action. Uh, they took a week off from airing, and actually, the live action aired last week. I didn't watch it. Like I said, I don't like to watch live actions of things that I enjoy, because most of the time, they're usually ruined. But if you watch live action... Tell me your thoughts. And I wish they showed this episode last week because I saw the trailer of the live action and what happened in this episode happened in the live action for sure. Not sure how exactly it went. Maybe at the read all the mangas, I will give the live action a try, but I don't want to watch it and see whatever happened or however they decide in that live action. I want to read all the material. But uh, it's been very great uh, watching the anime uh, seeing what they add in, they're not adding that much stuff in, but I'm saying like the soundtracks, the soundtracks, I love listening to the soundtracks on different moments that I have read, when I read through the manga, the manga's still ongoing by the way, one just came out, I believe uh, volume, I think volume 10 just came out, like a few days ago, um, but anyways, it's on 100, Bucket List of the Dead, episode 5 review, so this is uh, Hero of the Dead. This is the name of this episode, which is be I think it's like chapter five, I believe, in the uh first volume of Psalm One Hundred. Um, but uh, pretty accurate. They've been pretty spot on. I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be accurate because things have been so accurate with the manga so far. So uh, Kenjo gets his hair dyed because I know y'all been seeing probably been seeing like the I believe the cover art and maybe. Did the opening show his hair blonde too? I believe it does. But yeah, he finally gets his hair dyed blonde, which happens in the manga. And uh, at the beginning of the episode, Akira is dreaming about a little moment that happened when he was a kid. It's just like a flashback moment. He's uh, pretty much trying to help this kid that was being bullied by his older kids. And he kind of fought them off and scared them away. And um, Akira's like, I want to be a superhero. You think I could do that? And then Ken Joe's asking him about what you mean, like Spider Man? Like, what kind of hero are you talking about? Uh, but I, I ain't going to try to read to all the events, but fast forward a little bit. We see uh, Kira at this aquarium. They go to an aquarium because they're getting his material for his suit, or I should say his suit, his superhero suit, or his hero suit. Um, And we're seeing this group of people on the bus. How girl, Zizuka. She's on the bus with these people. One of the people on the bus is affected. Um, so that causes them to leave the bus as they're running away. Um, they make their way towards the aquarium. One of, the girls, one of the girls on the bus falls down. She's kind of injured, can't really get up and run. Right when she thinks her life is over, a cure to the rich, rescue. Um, he calls himself a cure I believe. Um... But yeah, he got this aquarium suit. Pretty much this aquarium suit is used for divers. Um, so it kind of protects them from being bitten by sharks and other uh, animals that's in the sea. So this is the suit he uses, which is very useful. You will see it in the future episodes because he uses the suit other times in other scenarios. But this time he uses the suit. This is the first time using the suit. Um, he fends off some of the zombies as he's telling them to go inside the aquarium. He sees Jessica run by some. They both look at each other. She thinks he's just being a cosplayer, but uh, yeah, everyone is safe and sound inside. Akira's getting bit up. He finds out that that suit, it does protect him from bites, but he still feels the pain of a bite. But uh, so yeah, that happens when he finally get rid of the zombies. He comes inside. He's talking to her. Uh, she's still on him about you doing dangerous things. He was, he was also trying to get contact information again. But she said, you still being so risky and stuff. So uh, that got denied getting the contact information again uh, when he asked it at the end of the episode. But um, yeah, they kind of settled down in the, in the aquarium. Want, they settled down in the aquarium, then they hear something break. And you actually see this thing at the beginning of the episode when Akira and Kenjo is inside of the aquarium. You see it swim by. You see a shark 
swung by. Um, but later on in this episode, the shark breaks the glass and Kencho and the cure they go and check out what was the noise. They see water on the floor, they see some eyes blowing, and this shark with like what six or eight feet walking up towards them slowly. It took them a minute to realize what's going on. But once they realize they're going on, they run in it to want to run. Uh one of the girls that you see at the beginning of the episode, she's still like, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. And Shizuka, Shizuka is telling her to calm down. She throws Shiz- Shizuka and she runs. And everyone except for Shizuka gets locked out of the storage room or whatever room they was inside of. And Akira knows that she's gone, so he's going to save her. He, he wait, no time. He went out. He went to the vents and came to her rescue. And she still asks him, I can't, be- I can't believe you're doing all these things for these strangers, you're risking your life, instead of uh, being more concerned about people that's important to you. And uh, at the end of the episode, he ends up telling her that she is now important to him. And she He makes her blush and what's nice. But um, Akira and her, they're running, they're trying to figure out a strategy to deal with this zombie shark. Uh, they end up coming out with a deal you will see how that plays out if you saw the episode or if you plan to watch the episode i'm using the thumbnail from the scene of when they take care of the shark i'm using a little thumbnail for that for this video you'll see but when they handle it but um everyone's safe and sound um kenjo did his little comedy gag thing being naked shaking his butt around trying to get the shark's attention whatever but everyone's safe and sound uh She's because not rocking that group. The only reason she was there was to get to a harbor where the best was being going to be taken to. Um, like I said earlier, Kira gets her number. She finally shares her contact information with him, so he got a number. And Akira and Kenjo are on their way. Next episode. Hold on one minute. All right, back to our scene. So, next episode is titled RV of the Dead. This is where she's, I mean, Actually, I believe Shizuka will be in the next episode. Um, but this is where uh, Akira and Kenjo gets RV to their arsenal, I should say. And my freaking dog is over here messing with me. Well, biting himself. But anyways, um, overall, good episode. Like I said, um, I enjoy watching the anime because, I've, like I said, I read the mangas. So uh, seeing how they do the animation... And hearing that music and stuff adds to the experience. You no, know, um, I actually don't. I don't remember what's happening. Also, well, in this next episode coming up, RV of the Dead. I don't really know. Remember what's happening? I'm not even going to touch my manga. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna watch it without knowing what happens. Or it's, it's gonna refresh my memory. But I knew what's gonna happen on this episode. I knew partially what's gonna happen. I knew he was gonna get in the suit, and. Uh, Meet Shizuka and this other stuff. But I don't remember this chapter. So it's going to be a surprise for me too. Because I'm not going to touch the manga. I'm just going to watch it through and see how it plays out. And actually I'm not even going to read the other manga until this season ends. I believe this is going to be like a 12. I believe it's going to be like a 12 episode season. So we're going to get a season 2. Yep. Yeah so we're going to definitely get a season 2. So once this season is done, I'm going to go back to my manga because, like I said, uh, volume 10 dropped like a few days ago. And I haven't read it yet. But um, like I said, it's, it's great to watch the anime play out because I read the manga. But you don't get the music, you don't get the soundtracks. And I really enjoy these soundtracks they added on to the series. So, so far, so good. I mean, so far it's really good. My favorite anime of this year. Because that is my favorite manga. I'm 100. That's my favorite manga. And it's my favorite anime of the year for sure. And I'm glad y'all get to experience it and see. Watch it play out. Um, If you watch the live action, give me your thoughts. What you thought about it. But anyways, I'm TK. TK RDS. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back next week, I guess. Hopefully they don't do no more little delay of episodes. But uh, until next time, talk to you guys later. Peace.